Hey guys, it's Ron. This is Lab 16 covering VTP. Now VTP is the VLAN trunking protocol and what it allows us to do is add a, a little bit of ease to our uh, uh, VLAN management. When I say ease, I just mean that if I have to add a lot of VLANs to my network, I don't have to log into each and every switch to do so. I don't have to log into my core switch, make the changes to maybe say 10 VLANs, and then come down here to uh, one of my distribution switches, add 10 VLANs, and all the way throughout my network. Instead, I'll make the changes on one of my switches, and those changes will replicate throughout the network, right? So let's see how you do that. So bring up our core, enable config t, VTP, question mark. So we have domain, we have mode, we have password, and we have version. So the big ones that you'll hit on are domain, mode, and if you want, you can add a password. Okay. So domain, we have to have. So domain, we'll call this uh, test, and I think I already named it test once. So there we go. So this is case sensitive, that name that you give it, so it has to match throughout your network. Okay, now we have VTP mode, we have client, server, and transparent. So the differences between them, by default you are a server, okay, and a server can, uh, it can make changes to the VLAN database, and it can receive changes from other uh, VLAN uh, or VTP servers okay in client mode you'll receive those updates but you can't make changes to your VLAN database okay transparent mode we basically ignore the fact that VTP is operating in our network uh, we can make changes to our local VLAN database uh, if we receive an update from another VTP server we will uh, send those updates back out but we're not going to apply them to our local VLAN database okay so in our case by default we're a server so we'll just leave it at server and we'll exit out alright so show, show VTP status alright so in this case it shows us what our domain name is what mode we're operating in the number of VLANs that we have and remember, we always have five by default because we can't get rid of one, 1002, 1003, 1004, and 1005. Okay? So those VLANs are always there. So we'll always have at least five. Now, VTP version we never changed. And VTP revision. So revision is set to zero right now. And that just means that we haven't made any changes to our VLAN database. As we make changes, We'll see that number increment. Now down here's uh, something that we won't see in this lab, but in the real world you'll see. If for some reason I, well, if in a normal network I were to add some management IPs to VLAN one so that I could tell net into it, you know, do what have it, uh, that IP is going to show up down here for the uh, last switch that sent out an update. So if I made a, a change to the VLAN database and it updated the rest of the switches in the network, that original uh, switch that I made the changes on, its IP would show up in each, uh, each switch. That way you kind of have an idea of where the change came from. Okay, So let's go to our next switch. Now, the domain name that I added to the core should have copied down whenever you have a null or no domain name and somebody makes a change to a domain name it usually copies in so we'll do a show VTP status and it did so we have server or we have test down here and we're also in server mode so let's go ahead and put it in client mode and see what that what that does uh, so config T VTP mode client end show VTP status okay so now we're in client mode we'll see what that does for us so if I try to add a VLAN it's gonna tell me that hey you're in client mode you can't make changes to the VLAN database okay 
what if I come over here and I make this guy VTP transparent, VTP mode transparent. Now I try to do a VLAN 2. Well, that worked. How about a VLAN 3? Well, that worked. So we'll do a show, do show VLAN. So we have our VLANs that we added. Show, uh, do show VTP status. Now notice our VLANs went up, but our revisions didn't. And that's because we're not using VTP. You know, we have the domain name that got copied down originally, but we're pretty much not going to uh, send or receive updates. All right. So we'll see if, if, I, if I make a change up here, if those changes replicate all the way down here, if it goes through that transparent switch. All right, so let's go config T. We'll do a uh, VLAN 10, VLAN 11, VLAN 12. Show VTP status. I now have eight. Because uh, I originally had five, I added three, so I have eight left, and I'm on revision three. Okay, so let's see if those changes replicated down. So he should have copied down the VTP uh, domain name, so show VTP status, which he did, and look, we have eight. So it copied through the uh, transparent. Uh, switch and make changes here. So show V. So VLAN, we now have 10, 11, and 12. So that's VTP for you. That's uh, you know basically making changes on one switch and having those changes replicate down. Okay. Next, we're going to see some of the problems uh, with VTP. All right. So here we go. Let's let's see where we can kind of get in trouble with VTP. Let's say uh, for some reason maybe this line went down. Okay. So now these two switches are cut off from the network. Okay. Now if we make changes up here uh, T VLAN 20 VLAN 21, VLAN 22, show v, VTP status. All right. So we have 11 and we have revision 6. All right. Now we connect this guy back in. What we should see is that those, those replicate down. And that's what we would hope would happen. So that's that's best case scenario, right? That uh, connecting it back in just brought it up to the same level as the network. Okay. So waiting on waiting on spanning tree. Still waiting on spanning tree. There we go. So let's see if that happened. I'm always leery of whether packet tracer works. So show VLAN. Wonderful. We got 20, 21, 22. So that's best case right there. Well, what's worst case? Worst case is that that gets uh, cut. And for some reason, while this is down, uh, come on. I'm trying to drag it down here. Show VTP status. All right. So for some reason, somebody gets in here and screws things up. Like does a no VLAN 20, no VLAN 21, no VLAN 22. They're like, oh, those those VLANs don't even need to be down here. You have some some new guy, and he he thinks he's the uh, this Cisco expert, and he decides, you know what? 
there are no VLAN 20 users down here. There are no VLAN 21 users down here. And there are no VLAN 22 users down here. So I'm just going to get rid of them. I don't, I don't need them. What he doesn't know is that you're running VTP. So now when you go to connect back up, you'll notice that he show VTP status. He's in revision 9. Whereas everybody else is now running 9. After this, well, I think it, it updated already. So it got ahead of me. Show VLAN. We lost our VLAN 2021 20, and 22. So even if those users were out here, you know, uh, doing their own thing, all of the sudden, their computers go down. Show VLAN. Oh, well, for some reason, it didn't update down to here. Show VTP status. If for some reason, it didn't update all the way down. It should have. We're still running revision 6. And these guys up here are running revision 9. So show VTP status. Yeah, so he took some updates and he didn't take others. Uh, I'm going to chalk that up to Cisco Packet Tracer. But you can see how you can easily get into trouble that for some reason this guy was offline for a little bit. Somebody made a change. When you brought it back online, it updated everybody else and took down a VLAN that you needed for some of your users out here. Heaven forbid that's like your server VLAN that everybody needs access to and because you uh, were running VTP it took that uh, took that VLAN out and everybody's stuck wondering you know what happened to the servers the servers aren't responding something's wrong with the servers it has nothing to do with the servers it has to do with the fact that the VLAN doesn't exist anymore and unless you go in and actually look you you're going to be spinning your tail for a while wondering, okay, did the, did the switch blow up? Did the server blow up? Ah, I don't know. And it just happens to do with the fact that the VLAN doesn't exist anymore. All right. And that can happen if you've had a switch that's been offline for a while. It's been sitting on the shelf for a long period of time. Uh, and for some reason, I don't know, maybe it was in your test network. And uh, so you were making VLAN changes like crazy. So it has a high revision number. You plug it into your network and watch things get crazy when it updates everybody else. So you have to be real careful about adding, adding things back into the network. To play it safe, here's what I would do. So this guy's been off the network for a while or he's been in your test network for a while. I'd bring him up. One of the first things that I would do is do a show flash. Oops. We have our VLAN.dat. So that's our VLAN database. Delete VLAN.dat. Reload. Wait for it to boot back up. And this time when it boots up, uh, you'll notice that it doesn't have any VTP information and it doesn't have any VLANs or at least it only has the original five so show VLAN I only have the original five and show VTP status I'm running server mode I'm running revision zero so what I can do is config T I can do a VTP uh, mode client so I'm not going to send updates. I'm only going to receive VTP domain test. All right. Plug in back into the network. And if everything's working right, because he's on the same VTP domain, he'll get an update from uh, one of your switches. And he'll go to version or revision 9, and he'll be basically running what everybody else is running. If he doesn't, sometimes you can give him a little nudge by going in and maybe changing the, the name of one of your VLANs. Not taking it out or adding anything new, you're just gonna change one of the names. So it's a revision update 
and he takes it. So let's see if this guy took it. Like I said, I have little faith in Packet Tracer to do what it's supposed to do. So do show VTP status. All right, he took it. So he came back online. We made him a client. So he bumped up and took the original or copied down everything that everybody else was doing. And we made sure he didn't affect anybody else. Now we can go back in if we wanted to in VTP mode server and show VTP status he's now in server mode but he's running that revision 9 so if we ended up making a change on him he would replicate it throughout the network um, but we don't have to worry about when we first plug him in he's going to take down our network because we killed that VLAN database brought him in as a client let the network update him and then brought him back up to a server okay so that's VTP for you I hope you learned something. It's a cool tool. You just have to be careful about how you employ it. Uh, you have to be careful about plugging old uh, devices back into the network. Uh, so as long as it's used uh, wisely, it, it can be an asset. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye.